Welcome back to Mason Talks. So the Cleveland Browns have re-signed Richard Hollywood Higgins to a one-year deal. According to reports, his deal is around $900,000 for this single year. So one of the big question marks of the offseason, what was going to happen to Richard Higgins, has finally been answered. He is returning to the Cleveland Browns on a one-year deal. Now, from an outsider's perspective, when you look at Richard Higgins and when you look at the infatuation that Browns fans seem to have with them, I think a lot of people would be confused as to why this is such a sort of meaningful signing for the Cleveland Browns. But when I look at Richard Higgins coming back on a one-year deal, I honestly do think that that is a meaningful signing for the Cleveland Browns for a couple of different reasons. And the first reason why is because by re-signing Richard Higgins, who was pretty much an all-out failure in 2019, Andrew Barry, Kevin Stefanski, Paul D. Podesta, and Jimmy Haslam are looking at 2019 and saying, hey, that was Freddie Kitchen's fault. That was John Dorsey's fault. The Browns are looking back at 2019 and they are blaming Freddie Kitchens because otherwise you wouldn't have brought Richard Higgins back. He was bad. He fought with the coach. He spent a lot of the year injured. And when he finally was healthy, he was never able to get on the field and he finished the year with 55 yards and a single touchdown catch. Richard Higgins was a bad receiver in 2019. But his stats, his production... And his locker room impact don't really matter if you're saying everything's Freddie Kitchen's fault. We're throwing the whole season in the dumpster. And to be quite honest, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Because number one, I agree. (laughs) I think it was absolutely Freddie Kitchen's fault. But I don't think the Browns should be acknowledging that. I think that Baker Mayfield, Odell Beckham, Rashard Higgins, Jarvis Landry, all these people need to look at themselves, they need to look at the past season and say, hey, everybody's to blame. Freddie Kitchens might have been the worst head coach to ever step foot inside Berea, but everybody's at fault. Everybody should take a piece of the blame. So by bringing Rashard Higgins back and effectively saying, we still think he has talent, he was just horrendously misused, I think it says that they're still blaming Freddie Kitchens for the failure that was 2019. And I also think that by bringing back Rashard Higgins, the Cleveland Browns are insinuating that that they still have a belief in their quarterback, Baker Mayfield. Because Baker Mayfield is the only quarterback who ever has had any, has had any sort of success with Rashard Higgins. Of course, in 2018, Rashard Higgins was one of Baker's go-to guys. He finished the year with 39 receptions, 572 yards, and four touchdowns. That's the reason why he was resigned last year. He was one of the guys Baker Mayfield built chemistry with throughout training camp since Baker was the second quarterback on the depth chart behind Tyrod Taylor. And Rashard Higgins was lower on the totem pole in training camp. He was below guys like, at the time, Josh Gordon, Jarvis Landry, those type of names. They still believe in Baker. They still believe that if you give Baker the tools he needs, such as Rashard Higgins, who he has good chemistry with, he can be a good quarterback. The Cleveland Browns still have a belief in Baker Mayfield, and they still want to put the best weapons and best options around him that they can possibly give to him. And that's good. That's a good thing for the Browns, because Baker Mayfield has talent. When he's put in good good situations, he has elite-level accuracy. And I think he's going to be much better this year because the Cleveland Browns prioritized Baker Mayfield. They didn't just put their blind hopes and beliefs into him. So the fact that Rashard Higgins is back tells me the Browns are prioritizing Baker Mayfield. They say they still have a belief in him. And I think that's great for the franchise. I also am confident and pretty positive in the fact that by bringing back Rashard Hollywood Higgins... The Browns are insinuating that they are going to have a competition for the third 
wide receiver spot on the depth chart. We already know who the top two are. Odell Beckham and Jarvis Landry are the top two wide receivers on this Cleveland Browns team. But number three is going to be a legit question, and it's going to be something that we're going to have to go through training camp, hopefully, (laughs) and the preseason to figure out. Rashard Higgins is going to battle for that spot. But a lot of the people within that organization like Damian Ratley. They think he's got the speed and potential to be a good number three wide receiver. The Browns also went out and got a big-bodied, super-athletic, raw-potential type of guy in Donovan Peoples-Jones. So the Browns are putting wide receivers with a high ceiling in that depth chart, in that receiver room, and they're going to let them duke it out in training camp for the third receiver spot on the depth chart. And I think that's good. I think that's a smart move by Andrew Barry and Kevin Stefanski. It's always good to promote competition, especially when you need a third wide receiver so very much, and especially when you have a guy like Rashard Higgins who's shown flashes of potential but needs that little boost to push him over the top and make him a legitimate elite sort of threat with your quarterback in Baker Mayfield. But so Rashard Higgins is coming back on a one-year deal, cheap money, not even a million-dollar salary. This is going to be another prove-it year for Rashard Higgins. There's no risk for the Cleveland Browns other than him flopping once again. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think this is going to pay off for the Cleveland Browns, and I believe that Rashard Higgins is going to have a pretty good darn 2020 as long as Baker Mayfield is able to deliver him precise passes. You know how it is. But let me know in the comments and let me know on Twitter, at MasonTalks23, what do you think of the Cleveland Browns resigning Rashard Higgins? Because I'm pretty into it. I think this is a good move. Thanks for listening to the Mason Talk Sports Show. I will see you in my next episode. Goodbye.